to a Warcraft 3 1v1 versus Hackslayer 16 versus I am Lucky. My name is Thendis32. I am new to YouTubing with Warcraft 3. I am kinda knowledgeable. Hate me if you do. If you don't, awesome, sweet. Alright, let's get to the game. Spawning as the Red Night Elf, we got Hacker Slayer, Hex Slayer 16 as the Red Night Elf. I'm messing up a lot, I'm sorry, folks. Alright. Who's going? Seems to be going Altar in Moonwell, along with Ancient of War. He's gonna do some Ancient of War creeping, a very viable strategy. You can do it cheap efficiently and it works out on most 1v1 maps. It's dangerous if you get scouted though. We got a ghoul, which reminds me I need to do this first, harassing that moonwell. And uh, spawning as the silver undead, I am lucky. Alright. Looks like that ghoul's harassing the wisps. We got a demon hunter coming in from the Nine Elf. Pretty standard. Pretty, pretty standard. Oh, we got a Death Knight attack. coming in from the Undead. Also looking standard. Looks like he's gonna do ghouls instead of fiends. Maybe fiends later on. That ghoul's gonna stay on that wisp. Get another hit in. That wisp running for his dear soul. Because he is a soul. Alright, Ancient War Creeping works like this. You get... <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. You get, a, you get an archer out. You make your Ancient War get up. Eat a tree. Use the archer to pull back the creeps, and then you hack away. You gotta wait for your demon hunter to come out before you kill anything, and if you kill anything with the Ancient of War, you won't get no experience. The undead knows about the Ancient of War creeping, so the question we have to ask ourselves is, is he gonna do something about it? Which he is. He's going Arwa first, so the demon hunter's um, mana burn won't affect him too greatly. He just won't be able to snipe off anything with his coils. Death Coil is a spell that kind of works like a coil of death that only works on living units. So, and if he uses it on his own units, he heals them. The Death Knight took the item, Greater Mana Pot, but the Demon Hunter did not get nothing out of that. The Ancient War is very close to dying. Super close. Demon Hunter gonna continue on the chase. Ancient Award does go down. That will hurt the Night Elf, but I don't think it'll be too game breaking. No, he's gonna instantly rebuild it. Late Ancient Award now. Maybe opt him to go Huntresses. Possibilities, possibilities. The Demon Hunter said, I want that Death Knight dead, but that Death Knight's got some friends. That Death Knight's got many friends. Also, since it's my first time, let me know if there's anything wrong volume-wise. I actually recorded this once, but the volume was too loud, you could barely hear me, so I changed the volume, turned it down quite a bit. Back to the game. Demon Hunter stopping at the shop. What's he gonna buy? Meanwhile, that Death Knight looks like he's gonna continue on the harass. Doesn't wanna go for creeping. Demon Hunter bought Boots of Speed and tel Staff of Teleportation. Boots of Speed allows him to go faster, as you see, and Staff of Teleportation allows him to teleport. It's very handy if used. Oh, Ghoul's got a surround. Is he gonna use the staff? Is he gonna use it? He does use the staff. See, he just got the staff and it's already saving him. And Death Knight knows that the Demon Hunter teleported back, does not want to go in there and harass. Demon Hunter using the Moon Wells to fully heal himself up. Death Knight. It's just running around chilling. A player's forces are under Except attack. The Demon Hunter bought a mercenary, ticked off these creeps. And Death Knight did not steal that troll. He did not get that XP. Demon Hunter's gonna drive him back. Troll Berserker taking a little damage, not too much. Oh, that Death Knight wants him. That Death Knight wants that kid's number. Death Knight got level two. Oh, that's some good micromanagement. 
player since the Death Knight is the only heal, heal, hero, he still gets experience from that. I heard a coil. And then I heard a troll dying. And he said stealing. I think the Death Knight picked off a troll. Is he gonna pick off that ogre? Oh, he does pick off the ogre. Very bad luck for the Night Elf. He doesn't have enough mana for now. Oh, uses the greater mana pod to steal that. Was it worth it? I'd say so. I'd say it'd be worth it. I'm gonna take a drink for my throat is parched and you don't want to hear me cough in the mic. Demon Hunter deciding to creep his green spot. We got a crypt and graveyard coming in, so he's going double crypt. That gives him three options. Mass, mass, mass ghouls, fiends, gargoyles, or a mix of the three. The graveyard gives upgrades to the undead army and allows him to get the ability to make the gargoyles and the fiends. I'm personally myself a 4v4 player, so I know how OP fiends can be when used correctly. Looks like we got a panda brewmaster coming in for second hero of the Nine Elf. Very deadly hero against ghouls with his drunken haze, which he decided to go first, and then breath of fire when he hits level two. Creeping out the old overseer camp are the players. I don't didn't build much with that ancient war. Wonder if it would have been better just to keep it dead. Guess it can be used as a defense. We got two ancient lores coming in for the Nine Elf. Which is pretty much what you're supposed to do, unless you're doing some kind of rush or your opponent is an orc. In that case, you go talons. Got a coil coming in and then a mana burn. Not sure if that coil was necessary, but I guess he knew he would get the mana burned. He has enough for another coil, which he uses. He does not have enough. The skeleton's blocking the demon hunter. Will the demon hunter die? Oh, that evasion saved his life. That demon hunter does not know how lucky he is. And with the boots of speed, he will get safely back to the moon world. The player's forces are under attack. It looks like the Death Knight is now the one on the run. Got some trash talk coming in. They're professional in their skill, not their manner. <laughs> we got a Lich coming in, second hero for the undead. When the undead hits tier 3, that Lich will most likely get an orb of corruption and he will slice through stuff. Splice. Brought a necromancy, mana pot, probably went Nova. The question that I don't understand is what spell is better? Frost armor, dark ritual. I personally like frost armor. A player's forces are under sight. Like the undead's gonna creep his shot. Yes, he will. Might get the night elf an opportunity to creep Jack. Wood. He wanted to die doing what he wanted. Roman Magi plus six, most likely be switched off to the Lich. See, we got Gloves of Haste, Ring of Protection on the Demon Hunter, and Ogre Strength Gauntlets on the Panda. We got Druid with Claws coming out, along with some Dryads, of course. More Drunken Haze, will he use Breath of Fire? I love it when he use Breath of Fire. Looks like he won't be using Breath of Fire. Save his mana. Level 2 on the Lich. I saw that. He picked up a Tome of XP. Pretty much he gets free experience for free. It's a very nice Tome. An undead. An idol. An idol doesn't know what he's running into. Oh god. Undead nuke. And he will be forced to TP out. Undead nuke is something fierce. Bears got the message, pull back, pull back. The undead knows he's clear for the time being, but he's gonna try to take the Mad Elves. Um, shot, shot, great camp. He's backing off so the Lich will get more experience, because you're gonna want both your heroes at level 3. Rejuvenation, quickly healing up the Demon Hunter. That's a good thing about bears, and apparently they got the, the Master Training too. Are under attack. He doesn't have the greatest micro in the world, but... Uh, ooh. 
Looks like he's going for gargoyles. Forcing the TP out. Realizes that's a bad predicament. Gets a couple ghouls of the breath of fire. Tell them straight through the panda. Getting to that point in the game where people are going to start attacking when they get their army in expansions. Looks like the Night Elf is opting to create the Red Creek camp, which will get him a nice item along with a potential expansion later on in the game. If I could have vision of a gold mine, I could tell you if it has more gold than the other. Personally, a 1v1 player. I won't be able to tell you that, but it looks like the undead player is going in for that gargoyle harass. Gargoyles are pretty good at sniping off wisps. It looks like he's also going to creep out his own expansion. Same amount of gold. I guess it's Orbit Darkness. Nice. Anything that Panda kills will turn into a skeleton that ain't the Night Elf Army, such as these skeletons. Was that all that dropped? I guess it was. harassed a lot and killed a lot. Now they're going to go for the mine. Demon Hunter coming back. Orb of Venom. He's going to be able to scare him off. Meanwhile, his panda is probably going to do some creeping of his own. His uh, teleportation scroll was traded off so the Demon Hunter could hold that orb. Double Gloves of Haste could get him to attack and spread the Venom even quicker. Looks like the Night Elf... Looks like the Night Elf's gonna go in for the attack. Those gargoyles. Other than that, the undead doesn't have much of an army. Looks like he's gonna keep the gargoyles there. He's gonna try to snipe off the mine. This will come out and repair it. The Night Elf has the better army in this fight, but does the Lich? The Lich does have orb of corruption. That will help. Though that will turn those bears into gravy. As you can see, minus the armor, those those bears are going down faster than what they should be. Staff of preservation on the bear takes him home nice and safe and sound. He can tell his kids what he saw. Triad looks like he's gonna fall. She can't say the same to her kids. That orb of venom, uh, which is on the demon hunter, <laughs> is helping a little, but that orb of corruption is doing massive damage. Death Knight in a bad spot. Level 4. Getting a little low in hell. It's gonna pick off that bear. Can you get away with his life, though? Lich passes off the potion of healing. Nice work. Meanwhile, those gargoyles are still sniping off wisps. Less wood for the Night Elf. Obsidian statue took an out. Undead need those statues. They really do. Looks like he's gonna try to get in a better position. No, is he, is he gonna back out? The town is oh, he saw the expansion. Wisps there. Very nice work. That is how you not use map hack, folks. That is how you not use map hack. A player's force is under attack. Gargoyle harassed Demon Hunter. Must have staff a telly back home. No. Did he? He didn't TP. Okay, I thought he wasted TP for that. Gargoyles are staying. They will not win that fight. Not with those Moonwells. So close. Couple Dryads being picked off for free. Not sure what happened there, but it happened. Polish magic on the skeleton. That Dryad's gonna fight to the death. Which happened right about now. His Gargoyle numbers have decreased. They're not as threatening, but they're still a threat. Rejuvenation on the demon. The player's hunter. forces are under attack. Yes. Looks like the undead's pushing back the night elf here. Uh, the undead magically held off that attack. I'm not sure how, but he did. I'm gonna move my mind closer to my face, because I don't want to have to do this again for 